Howdy folks, Treadhead. So this cute little thing here is the Lynx Armored Reconnaissance Vehicle. Used by uh, Canada and the Le Netherlands in uh, late 60s. Canada replaced theirs in 93 with Coyotes. But uh, anyway, it's uh, 8.77 tons, uh, 215 horsepower Detroit diesel. Uh, it'll do 71 kilometers an hour. Probably that's probably on the road. I don't. They didn't. I couldn't find a, an off-road max speed, but uh, that might have to depend on your driver. <laughs> anyway, um, so it's armament up top there. The it's the mount, but the gun is missing. It would normally carry uh, the M2 50 caliber machine gun, and uh, it would also the observer would have a 7.62 millimeter. Um, GPMG on a pintle mount. Um, this one is here at uh, the St. Thomas Armories um, in St. Thomas, Ontario. So we'll move around front and in front right uh, on the upper glacius there you'll see the trim vein. This thing's also amphibious. So apparently it'll do six kilometers it's, uh, per hour in the water. It's driven by the tracks. Um, but apparently you have to uh, erect the trim vane, turn on the bilge pumps, and there are covers for things like the exhaust and uh, um, the engine exhaust and the air intake. So anyway, uh, just a note about uh, the M2 Browning heavy machine gun that would normally uh, be mounted up there, right there on that mount there. Um, it was uh, its development was started during the First World War by John Browning. Um, finished in 1919, just after the war, and uh, it is still the heavy machine gun of the United States Army and the Canadian Army today. So 2021. It was first adopted by the U.S. in 1921, so that means it's been in military service for over a hundred years, which is pretty amazing. Okay. So the engine's mounted in the back, the Detroit diesel. You look up on top there. I'm not going to go too far because the sun's just going to glare like crazy. And then there's a hatch to access the engine there. Okay. All right. Awesome little vehicle, love it. Anyway, uh, the Ontario Regiment has one in Oshawa, so the next time I'm down there, hopefully I can get some film of it actually running around. Um, <coughs> I believe Bovington has one that runs too, so if you wanna do uh, a little YouTube search, you might be able to find this guy at Bovington. And I will certainly do my best to get you some live footage of this thing running, okay? Thanks for coming out. Have a nice day.